Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, vlog number four. It is June 14th, 2019 and it's a Friday and holy cow, it's finally sunny out here in New York. Guys, it has been miserable here for the most part. A lot of rain, a lot of wetness, a lot of gray clouds and uh, you know, I was kind of interested in that kind of topic for a little bit and I was wondering why it's so miserable here. <laughs> um, the weather patterns, um, if you actually Google this area, I'm in Rockland County, New York, so I'm about a half an hour north of the GW Bridge, and so we live in the suburbs of the Hudson Valley. I'm in a town called Stony Point, and I've been there my whole life, I've lived there my whole life, grew up there, and if you Google this area, this area only gets 90 days of full sun every year, and I never realized that until you start really paying attention, that's kind of miserable, you know? I come from like a Italian Mediterranean background, my mom's all Sicilian, and I think I need more sun, so uh, I think I'm looking. I'm looking to move to West Palm Beach, guys. Uh, I keep barking up this tree, and my wife and I are set on thinking of moving to West Palm. So if there's anybody down there that would like to help out Classic VW Bugs with the move and get us maybe, you know, in in touch with people that are willing to work on vintage Volkswagens, I need a painter. I probably need some mechanics and things. Let me know. All right. So, anyways, what are we talking about? <laughs> just go off on a tangent there. Um, so vlog number four, June 14th, we're just about to head into summer, and um, I've been getting emails lately, guys, on, and it's funny, I get these in a wave. It's, it's like they all happen at one time, I don't know why, but um, this one topic has been coming up the past few weeks now, it's like, you know, Velo, what, what else do you do besides work on bugs? You have hobbies? You got another life outside the Volkswagen? And I'm like, well, yeah. So I never really thought about putting together a video about this, so I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. So if we talk about my other interests and you kind of get a little more tidbits about me and where I'm from, um, maybe this will be enjoyable to you. I know the vlogs have been resonating really well with people, so if you guys have any other topics you want me to talk about during the vlog as I drive to work, uh, please drop a comment in the, the comment section below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Or if there's anything else you want to hear about how-tos or whatever, um, let's let's talk about it. Um, so my interests, let's see, art, music, food, movies, is that what you want to talk about? All right. Um, I grew up an artist. Uh, I started drawing cartoons when I was a kid. Uh, I, I grew up on Looney Tunes cartoons and uh, even, you know, Three Stooges and, and things like that. And uh, so I started drawing cartoons at a very early age. I always loved Bugs Bunny and, and Woody Woodpecker and, and things like that. That kind of animation I, I just truly love. And what's sad today is that you don't really see that those cartoons anymore because uh, they're quote unquote I don't know politically incorrect or something uh, but you know what those were great cartoons and you know what uh, I, I miss them I mean I do have some things on Laserdisc and an you know, old VHS but I'm not cracking that out anymore you know so I guess I could just go to YouTube but anyways I grew up on art I went to school for art uh, cartooning and uh, filmmaking and I graduated with a BA in fine arts from St. Thomas Aquinas College in uh, Spark Hill New York and uh, I paid for my own education. Um, and then shortly after college, I got into movies. I was writing and directing for a good 10 years. I, I wrote, produced, edited, shot, uh, one man band sort of thing. I did my own indie, independent films. I did about, um, yeah, about eight, eight short films, 10 feature films. And I've written about, I don't know, six or seven full length feature screenplays. So I was trying to really get into Hollywood. Now, it was a dream of mine when, since I was a kid because I was. Uh, totally inspired by Terminator 2 and Batman with Michael Keaton at the time and we just rewatched Batman from 1989 it's like oh my god it's so dated 30 years old already but uh, I, I love the Shawshank Redemption Gladiator Braveheart uh, Forrest Gump you know usual suspects uh, these are all like some of my top movies that I always go back to um, so movies are another big thing with me and my wife and I we love movies we go we watch movies uh, a lot from home uh, just because things are streaming these days and it's just easy to, uh, to to get on either, you know, whether it's YouTube or Hulu or uh, Netflix, something like that. Uh, but we did go out and see recently uh, Godzilla, the new Godzilla. I know it's going to be absolutely ridiculous, but we saw it in IMAX. Ah, story, ah, throw it out the window. Ah, the character development, ah, throw it out the window. It was all about the monsters and seeing these monsters in full glory and the sound and everything was just intense. Uh, so, <laughs> so sometimes we have fun like that and go see a silly movie like that. But, um, you know, Avengers Endgame, we, we, we see a lot of stuff. 
So um, I love movies. I grew up on that art. Um, I still like going to museums. We actually just went to the Museum of Natural History uh, just recently. So I like seeing cultural things like that. It's really good. Um, music. I uh, grew up on classic rock, man. I love the Stones, the Beatles, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, um, Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, just, uh, and then I liked, you know, high school and college, I liked Oasis, I liked Radiohead. Um, even today, I like Imagine Dragons, I like the, this group called The Score, they're really good too. Um, and then I just started listening to a girl called uh, LP. So I think her first name was Laura, and her last name is, I think, Italian last name, Pizzarelli something. I don't know. It came in like my, my YouTube feed, you know, my music feed on YouTube, and she's really good. And sure enough, she's inspired by classic rock as well. Um, I even, do, I love instrumental music. So I used to write and do my art listening to uh, music soundtracks, like epic soundtracks and stuff. So I like listening to things like that. It gives me inspiration. I even put that on sometimes in my shop, and I, it just kind of gives me inspiration. I'm there. You know, if I'm there by myself and I'm, I'm moving and grooving on a bug, you know, uh, there's something really uh, inspiring about that. I, I, I was always very audio, you know, when it came to my work. So if you might, you guys see that in some of my videos that I've done, say my Fall Cruise videos or some of the other videos, I cut to music. So it's kind of the Fantasia effect, I call it, where uh, Walt Disney would put down a, a, a stream of music and that's, and he made the cartoons based off the, the music of what it, it meant to him. So, um, yeah, music is very good. Uh, I love it. Sports, I grew up, I, I played soccer, you know, uh, baseball, football growing up. Uh, I used to play pond hockey with my friends, you know, and used to go fishing and build go-karts and do things outside and ride bikes and go off ramps and stuff and, and bust our heads open and skateboard. I used to do all, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, today, I think I just pretty much follow football uh, when it comes around. Uh, my wife's into soccer, so when any, any like sort of uh, you know World Cup comes around, she likes to watch Colombia soccer. So because my wife's all Colombian, so but I like football, baseball. You know, I don't really follow it. I don't really watch it too much. Um, so I like to travel. Traveling is really good. I need to do more traveling. Um, you know, I, I like to go to like I said, West Palm Beach. I love Florida. I love the heat down there. I love the beaches down there. Um, North Carolina I really like as well been to California been to Cancun Mexico been to the Bahamas uh, been to Aruba Aruba I was on uh, my honeymoon with my wife I went to Aruba that's my it was like my second or third time I went to Aruba uh, so I like to travel I do want to travel more I should everyone should travel more um, and uh, you know I want to go to Europe I've never been to Europe and I want to visit Italy because that's kind of like where my roots are you know my mother is all Sicilian she she's off the boat uh, Italian, five years old, she came here, moved to Brooklyn with her parents, and then uh, she met my father, and there he's also from Brooklyn, and they actually got married when they were like 17, 18 years old. It's just unbelievable how that, how they, he did it, and he banged out five kids. So <laughs> I'm one of five, and uh, I have, I'm surrounded by four sisters, so I'm right in the middle, and uh, we're all cooks in our house. We all cook. I cook. My sisters cook. My older sister has a restaurant uh, for over 30 years right outside West Point called, figuratively, West Point Pizza. And uh, she's owned that since she was like 17 years old. So we have families of entrepreneurs. My dad was a New York City police officer, but then after that, he, he owned his own landscaping company. My second oldest sister, uh, she owns a mirror and glass company in New Jersey. So I was surrounded by entrepreneurs and uh, people were like kind of go-getting and you know, do things for ourselves, be independent, not dependent on people. Uh, so I, I like that spirit. And in today's day, you have no excuse not to be independent anymore. You have the internet at your disposal. And all you have to do is just Google search, YouTube search, and you have education at your fingertips. You got a phone, you got an internet connection, you can start a business tomorrow. With that said, we're all cooks. My mom's Italian. We always had the family uh, meals on Sunday with with uh, family coming in and we cooked for an army of people and cousins and brothers and sisters. I'm very close to my sisters. We're like pals. Um, you know, yeah, of course we bickered as we were growing up. We're siblings, right? I got two younger sisters and they're twins. So they're very close in age with me and my two older, um, my second oldest is eight years older than me and my oldest is 10 years older than me. So there was a break. Uh, but we all get along very well. We all communicate very well with one another. So that's very good to have. And I'm, I'm lucky to have that. That's very, being very fortunate. You can bounce ideas off. 
Uh, but we love to cook. I love to cook for my wife. I cook more for my wife than my wife cooks for me. And um, yeah, and um, I've been following also uh, health and nutrition. You know, I love health and nutrition. I've been following this for the past 20 years. And uh, I, you guys might not know, but, and even though I come from an Italian background, I follow primarily a paleo diet, paleo keto diet, like an 80-20 rule, 90-10 rule, where 80 to 90% of the time I'm eating paleo or keto. And yeah, I don't have any grain-based or hidden sugars or anything with, you know, that's wheat-based or so breads, cereals, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes, pizza, muffins, bagels, all that stuff is out. I don't have any of that. And I have very little dairy. If I do have any sort of dairy, I put a little grass-fed heavy cream into my espresso, which I've got. I've gotten hooked on. I'm trying to get off of because the caffeine gets to my head a little bit. Um, so, um, yeah, I uh, I've been doing paleo, and I follow a really good guy on the internet. If you guys ever want to learn about a little health and nutrition, um, uh, he he's a keto guy. Uh, but I think keto and paleo are very close, very like close siblings. So. Uh, Dr. Berg, if you ever go on uh, Dr. Berg's YouTube channel, he's got a ton of information on health and nutrition if you ever wanted to get into that. And I've been studying up on health and nutrition for at least, I don't know, like I said, about 20 years or so. A little warm in the car. Um, so right, at, right when I got out of college, I started working for CNBC and MSNBC. And I was in this cubicle environment. I couldn't stand it. And uh, it was a dark environment with just computer monitors on in the graphics department. It's just unbelievably unhealthy, it felt. I'm a sun guy. I love the sun. I love the outdoors. So I'm glad that didn't last too long. Um, so, yeah, um, health and nutrition, man. I, I, I love it. That's why part of the reason why I'm looking to get the hell out of New York and get some more sun in Florida. So, guys, I'm looking to move to West Palm Beach, Florida. I've been barking up this tree for a very long time. And if there's anybody down in Florida that can help us out, uh, with classic VW bugs and maybe point us in the right direction to some good painters or some good mechanics and stuff. That would be awesome, man. Uh, my wife and I are really looking to get going here because this area of Rockland County, holy cow, guys. This is the second. This in Westchester County. We're just above New York City, about 30 miles north of the GW Bridge in the Hudson Valley. Second highest tax county in the country. In the country. And when you come here and you look around and you wonder, why is it so expensive? I mean, it, the place should look like an absolute resort, and it does not. The roads suck. They're like the surface of the moon, all right? They still got old, ancient electrical technology from, like, the, 1900, uh, the early, like, uh, 19th century, okay? Here with the telephone lines. It's just, it's ugly as hell. Uh, there are some nice spots. Don't get me wrong. Rockland's, you know, got its ups and downs, but it's far. The, the cost of living here is far is astronomical if I ever told you what the taxes are here it's unbelievable so as a business to grow it hinders you to stay in an area that's so high in price and you get very little for it so uh, that's why we're looking to get out of here Rockland County just uh, to me you could put a bullet in it <laughs> as of right now it's just oh my god if I told you I'll give you an example some most people who have anywhere between a 1500 to say a 2000 square foot home could be paying anywhere between 20 and 25 thousand dollars a year in taxes and you still have to pay for your own garbage uh, my landlord who I rent from him up from my shop he's got a 3,000 square foot home he pays 30 grand a year in taxes in a stupid town called Stony Point that offers absolutely nothing so uh, part of the reason why I want to get out of here just a little vent there <laughs> so um that's it guys so you got my art you got my hobbies oh my other hobby that i got back into which is um nutty i, I did a video on it. it was rc cars uh, i love my rc cars now i got back into i feel like a kid again with this and um i'm actually thinking about doing another youtube channel based on rc cars so if you guys have any ideas of what the channel should be named that'd be really cool to get some advice on that one but man i'm just adding more work though i have this youtube channel and then i got my bugs to build and then i'm gonna do another channel for for rc cars Oh, I think I'm cutting myself a little bit thin, but um, I love it. It's a great hobby. It's a great therapeutic thing, and it's, it's, an, it's an escape from the Volkswagens a little bit when I need to escape. And uh, I got even my wife into it. She comes with me to the parks, and I, I, I bash around with these cars. It's pretty cool. So, all right, I think I've spoken long enough. It's almost a 15-minute video here about my other hobbies and my other interests, and you see I've rambled off, and I'm sure I missed something. So uh, between my art, music, uh, movies, and food, and health and nutrition and other little tidbits I've given you. I hope you really enjoyed this. Again, uh, please be sure to subscribe, like, hit that bell button. And if you can, for the price of a cup of coffee, could you send us a little donation to that PayPal link? 
and that helps keep this channel going, helps keep this content going, helps keep giving you the how-to information for your vintage Volkswagen and keep the vintage scene alive, man. So if you could do that, we really appreciate you. Whatever whatever you can throw at us is fine with us, and uh, we really thank you. So, all right, guys, listen, vlog number four out, and uh, have a great weekend. Take care. Um, um, um.